So want to want to end with your your picks. I had asked you um, ahead of time to to come up with um, three movies um, that can help bring families together with their kids during COVID. So what did you come up with? So I actually came up with two different shows and a movie. So for kids, which I think can be interpreted any way you want, but it's sort of all ages. I'm a big fan of reality cooking or food shows because I don't think you need to know a lot to appreciate them. And they are always so interesting. So whether it's street food or our family loves the Great British Baking Show, That's a great which one. is on Netflix. And I mean, so is street food. We have watched The Final Table, which is an international cooking uh, competition. And I think that even really young kids can get interested because we all eat and I, I don't cook. My husband cooks 99% of the time, but I love watching the shows and I do like to bake. So it gives me ideas of what the kids and I can make together or what I can tell my husband to make. So I highly recommend watching these reality cooking shows because they're easy to, to sort of drop in and out of and you don't have to even watch an entire episode to really get the gist of it. And I think that they are sort of multi-age in terms of enjoyment. Great. So for tweens, which I would think of as that next level in, in, in literature, we call it middle grade, right? So it's sort of this eight to 12 age group. And again, it, or up, I was a huge fan of Enola Holmes on Netflix, which is a Sherlock Holmes style mystery featuring his little sister, Enola, and she's much younger and she is played by Millie Bobby Brown of Stranger Things and their mother has gone missing. And the, you know, all of a sudden her, her older brothers are in charge of her life and her mother was a real feminist and taught her to be incredibly independent and capable, but also simultaneously very sheltered. So, the, the movie is excellent and it has a little bit of everything. It has the mystery and the adventure, but also a little bit of romance. So if you've got, you know, a 12 year old, but not so much that it will turn off the 12 year olds who are not interested in that at all. So I just thought that was such a fun film. And I watched that with my 12 year old son and we had a lot of fun watching it together. So cool. that's my pick for tweens. Cool. And then for teens, which can also be 12 and up, depending on how okay you are with um, some language and innuendo. Um, I, I mean, I, I didn't think it was really anything that much more scandalous than even modern family could be at times. But we were big fans of the show Ted Lasso on Apple TV, which is actually a spinoff of a little bit that had been on ESPN where Jason Sudeikis, the, the comedian who had been on Saturday Night Live, he is a college football coach who gets hired to coach at the Premier Soccer League, which of course is called football in England. So he is given this opportunity, which nobody understands why, like he doesn't know anything really about soccer. But what I loved about it is how earnest Ted is. And he's so like, you just fall in love with him because he's such a great guy. And so even though everyone is calling him terrible names because they think he's going to ruin their their football club and it is taken very seriously if any of you know any premier league mm -hmm. fans you know how how serious they are about their teams in the uk uh, but it actually just is so beautiful so it's a tribute to the the importance of being a good coach of having a good mentor of having someone who believes in you and how sometimes that is more important than winning or losing but i just love that show and my whole family got really into it 